Hi guys and welcome to the trading show. This week we are going to talk about Markets, energy stocks plunge. Our portfolio, Linux futures rise. Tip of the week meets reversal or trend following. And the weekly rollover. And if you are interested in systematic trading, then subscribe to our channel. I am Francesco Placci, head of R&D at Ungar Academy. Let's start from the market overview to see together what happened during the week. As we know, in the last two weeks, the stock markets are struggling. The Nasdaq is strongly negative, also this week almost minus 5%. The same goes for the mini S&P, while we see the European stock indexes that are positive. In particular, the Nasdaq over the past few weeks has returned to the market the gains of the last month. Prices are back to the level of a month ago. Certainly, the entire energy sector also shows weakness. We see, in fact, negative returns for all energy futures during the last week, but also over a monthly period, the returns are negative. Except for natural gas, which is flat. In strong uptrend we see Linux future, look how fast it has risen over the last few weeks, but also over the last month it shows an almost parabolic trend, with huge gap up. Finally we see all metal sector, which is positive in the last week. As for historical volatility, it is generally increasing, especially for equity indices and energy futures, because of their decline. In fact, if we take a look at implied volatility term structure, we see a hint of backwardation because the 9-day VIX is higher than the monthly VIX. The 9-day volatility, which is the white line, is higher than 1-month volatility, which is represented by the yellow line. Regarding VIX futures term structure, there is not much new to report. We talked about uh, that in depth last week. The situation is still quite anomalous, and we know it is due to the upcoming US elections. After seeing some key statistics on financial markets, and given the fact that automated traders also use this data to build their trading strategies, as usual, we will now take a look at our portfolio of trading strategies to see how systems have reacted to current market conditions. Hello everyone, welcome back to this new appointment with the analysis of the systems of our portfolio. This, this week we start by seeing this system on crude oil futures, developed on a 60 minutes time frame. And we can put this system into the category of bias, because enters either long or short, depending on the time you are during the day. You will go short uh, at more or less in the morning, uh, New York time, and then uh, the long will reverse uh, the position in the second part of the day, or in uh, the afternoon, uh, New York time. Going to see uh, the performance reports, we see that the, the strategy has uh, an excellent uh, average trade if uh, we consider above all that the strategy in question is in position only a few hours. Balance between long and short positions uh, is ok, the long side uh, entered less uh, than short side probably because uh, there, is, uh, some, there are some patterns that uh, inhibit the long side during the strong descents registered during the pandemia. We see that in the last uh, period also the strategy has managed to reach new peaks in equity. Thanks to this uh, beautiful series of trades in the past weeks, most of them are uh, short uh, trades. And we see them here on... Uh, the list of trades uh, that one trade closed for um, 1300s 
another one for uh, 1400s uh, then uh, another uh, two trades uh, let's say uh, closed uh, at uh, break even and uh, other two closed more more or less uh, in pair let's go on with another system in this system here on the s p 500 the future uh, the system in question is a trend follower one that enters uh, both uh, long and short when uh, let's say uh, the volatility uh, increase so the market has uh, if the market has moved of a certain uh, movement from the open then the system will enter a position in the direction of the movement itself of the underlying we see that it managed to take a nice uh, take profit with this uh, short uh, last uh, Thursday uh, then uh, also stop losses and um, another short in profit and another long held on Wednesday all these trades uh, brought the system to earn uh, good profits we see it here and we see here that he did uh, uh, take the profit target and also here a very good trade I would like to point out, uh, looking at the average trade statistic, that there are more short trades than long trades and that's because in most occasions we see strong declines uh, rather than a strong rise and therefore the short in this case, for what is the nature of the system, has more possibilities to enter. The equity limited to the short curve is good, we see that is a, a positive equity line always growing and also long in his small has behaved quite well overall the last system i want to show you is this system on the linux uh, futures market that we see has uh, achieved a nice take profit with this beautiful trade managing to ride what uh, was the performance of the underlying market that made uh, a really crazy uh, rally in the last week and we see that uh, even yesterday the market was uh, suspended by the exchange because of a too strong rally. This wonderful trade of $2,000 allowed the strategy to reach uh, new equity peaks. Hi everyone from uh, Andrea Nebbiolo. And uh, today we will test uh, some uh, characteristics uh, of the futures meets uh, uh, market. So here we have uh, the same windows as uh, in the previous episodes uh, of the portfolio trader of Multicharts. That is my trading platform. And uh, here I have uh, added the three main meets uh, futures we can uh, find uh, in general. And uh, the first one is the feeder cattle future that is uh, listed on the CME exchange as well as uh, the uh, other two. So uh, the second one is the um, Lean Hawks uh, future and uh, the third one is the Live Cattle future. And uh, as said, all these futures uh, are uh, listed on the CME uh, market. There is uh, an, uh, a future exchange located in uh, Chicago. Then here I, I have used uh, um, custom future for uh, everyone and uh, the reason of this uh, choice is that uh, I would um, I want to I wanted to decide uh, the rollover criteria and uh, in this case uh, those contracts are back adjusted uh, looking at the open interest of uh, of each contract of uh, each product and uh, and so we will be able to operate on the most liquid contract just uh, always then here I have uh, applied a very simple strategy and uh, in this case uh, the strategy consists uh, in uh, buying the previous session's uh, high with uh, a stop order and at the same time we will send also a sell stop order on the uh, previous session's low. And uh, in this case, uh, unlike the previous uh, episodes, I haven't put uh, um, a command to exit at the end of the trading session so this strategy will be a multi-day strategy and this is because uh, on this kind of markets the trading session is very um, is very tight so it's composed by very few hours 
and then uh, I have uh, decided to operate uh, in uh, uh, more days, uh, on more days. So just to leave uh, uh, more time to uh, the trade uh, uh, development, so to the, to, to the trade to earn uh, some money. Having said that, uh, I have um, launched the backtest uh, procedure and uh, here we can see the results. In general, here we uh, can see that all products uh, are earning some money, so are making some money into the considered period. And uh, looking the first one, uh, is, there is the feeder cattle. The shape of the equity is uh, pretty good, uh, but uh, here we can see um, difficulty period. So in th this period, there was the maximum drawdown of the strategy, of course. And then the equity started again uh, to, to rise, but uh, it, the equity uh, is not steeped, is not a steeped um, shape like in the, in the past. And if we have a look to the annual period analysis, we can see that the last, the very last years are more similar to the, some of the previous, uh, of the initial ones. So they are pretty good and there is a sort of consistency in the latest three years, but they are not exceptional like um, those uh, four years in the middle of the historical considered period, okay? So uh, now we will go to the second product, that is the Lean Hogs. And uh, in this case, we can see again a sort of uh, consistency. And there are, of course, also here some uh, uh, periods of, uh, with uh, some uh, difficulties here. And here, in fact, the, equities wa the equity was uh, pretty sideways. And uh, also in the, the last part uh, here, we can see uh, a big drawdown and then a big run up again and a new equity peak. So the, the shape of the equity is uh, pretty good for being uh, an um, a very raw uh, idea and a very simple trading strategy, but uh, of course uh, it's ne it needs to be filtered uh, much more because um, uh, of course the average trade and uh, all the other metrics are not uh, uh, exceptional at the moment. Here we can see there is only one negative year, but also 2017 was uh, a pretty uh, zero dollar year. So uh, if you would have paid the commissions as an impact, of course, 2017 would, be, uh, would have been a, a negative year and maybe also uh, 2019. But we can see that 2020, that is the last year in this case, uh, is uh, exceptional as year, is the best one at the moment. And so it seems that some uh, good characteristics in terms of volatility and uh, directionality came back in the very last year. And uh, the results of the last year are uh, quite exceptional for this product. So if we go then to the last uh, product, uh, that is the live cattle. Here it seems uh, uh, not to be uh, consistent and the shape of the equity is not uh, so good uh, in my opinion. And uh, in this case, in fact, uh, the, mm, the first part of the equity so uh, I would say until uh, like here, it's pretty inconsistent and uh, there were some good years, then bad periods and then uh, good periods again and then bad periods again. So um, I wouldn't say this approach uh, might be the best one or maybe um, you should try to find some uh, variants to this approach uh, so that the uh, consistency uh, may be uh, improved. Then there is an exceptional period in, uh, in this part, so from 2015 up to 2018, or at least the first part of 2018. Then we can see here a big drawdown again, and uh, the last part, is, it seems to be uh, sideways. So in general, to be honest, I would uh, avoid trading uh, this product with uh, this kind of uh, approach. Uh, at least uh, if you... Um, you may try to, to find a more filtered and, uh, in general, uh, accurate uh, version that uh, seems to be, uh, that should be more, uh, consistency, more consistent all over the uh, considered period. So, as said in the previous episodes, these are just uh, very simple trading ideas and uh, you shouldn't trade them as I have presented them to you, uh, just because uh, um, the average trade is not so high in this test, and then you are not able to, to face the impact of a slip agent commission. So they can be just some, um, you should consider them as uh, trading ideas, and then on, on this kind of ideas, you should develop your trading uh, strategies that of course should be more accurate and more uh, filtered than this uh, original idea.
As you can see, next week there will be several rollovers. It is in fact the triple witching, the simultaneous expiration of stock options, index options and index futures. We have two rollover futures on equity indices, typically the American ones a few days in advance, while the Europeans the day before the expiry. Finally, I remind you that the following week there will be the expiry of the crude oil future, which is typically rolled a few days in advance, while on September 23rd there will be the settlement date of the Bitcoin future. Well guys, so if you want to learn how to build trading systems like Andrea Unger, the only four-time trading world champion with real money, go ahead and click on the link below. You will be able to pick a date and a time for a 45-minute call totally free with one of our tutors. We will talk about your current situation, what you are doing in trading and what you would like to do instead and we will try to understand together if we can help you achieve your trading goals. Finally, if you like this video, press like and then subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next week with another episode of The Trading Show.